Good morning, students. Uh, let's look at the poem "House House of a Thousand Doors" by Mina Alexander. You know, we'll right away move uh, read the poem, and afterwards I'll we'll post the analysis as well. So please uh, turn to this uh, page, "House of a Thousand Doors." This house has a thousand doors. The sills are cut in bronze, three feet high, to keep out snakes, toads, water rats that shimmer in the bald rays at twilight. As the sun burns down to the Kerala coast, the roof is tiled in red, pitched with a silver lightning rod, a prow set out from the land's end, bound nowhere. In dreams, waves lilt, a silken fan in grandmother's hands, shell-colored, utterly bare, as the light takes her. She kneels at each of the thousand doors in turn, paying her dues. Her debt is endless. I hear the flute played in darkness. A bride's music, a poor folk thing. I watch her kneel in all my lifetime, imploring the household gods who will not let her in. So this is a very beautiful poem about colonial oppression, uh, oppression of women. You know both these themes. You know they um, they they are juxtaposed. You know we find the main uh, image the image the main image that is uh, seen throughout is the image of a house with thousand doors you know you might have seen traditional houses which has many windows and many um, uh, doors you know unlike our contemporary houses so uh, he uh, she looks at uh, that he she uses that image of uh, a traditional house with so many um, doors and windows and uh, with a tiled roof you know orange tiled uh, roof top so she says this house has a uh, thousand doors the sills are cut in bronze three feet high to keep out you know the sills are you know the windows are a little bit high because you know in order to um, you know keep away snakes toads and water rats you know they are um, these things these these animals you know they come uh, to invade this house but in order to scare them away or keep them away the windows are uh, kept uh, high but nevertheless you know the invaders came in so you know, considering this um, image of the house uh, or liking this uh, house uh, to the nation india you know so this india was a country uh, which was known for his uh, for its uh, for her hospitality and uh, she opened her doors thousand doors for all but at one point of time what happened you know invaders came in and then they started to stop the invaders and um, raised their windows you know the height of their windows but nevertheless the invaders came in they barged in at the twilight as the sun burns down to the kerala cause you know as the sun set you know the toads and other uh, such animals water snakes might come uh, come to our house the house is a typical kerala house which uh, which is uh, of whose roses is red um, tiled fish with a silver lightning rod is there a prow set out from lands and bound nowhere in dreams waves a lilt a silken fan in grandmother's hands shell colored utterly bare as the light takes her so now from the house to the uh, member so first the depiction of the beautiful uh, large house huge magnificent house and then you find this old woman with a silken fan you know with a, a fan and a two she's there the picture of this old woman so maybe uh, the you know she compares the images of both uh, her uh, maternal and paternal grandmothers into this old woman who again is uh, uh, who again symbolize india uh, the nation as well as the woman uh, woman the, the women of india women of kerala especially so this old woman is kneeling at uh, kneeling at each of the thousand doors in turn paying her due respect uh, imploring uh, no to you know uh, imploring to give way to open doors uh, to let her in because you know now that the invaders are uh, inside and she is being uh, thrown away and at every door she kneels down and prays that she'll be taken in the freedom that she has lost to colonialism uh, to oppression to patriarchy so that is also another thing you know the oppression of patriarchy which has closed doors uh, for uh, women 
taking away their freedom so at every uh, doors you know she's imploring she's kneeling down and praying as if to a god she kneels at each of the thousand doors in turn paying her dues her debt is endless but nevertheless what happened what is happening her debt is endless like india which was being drained of its wealth uh, about the contemporary brain drain drain you know likewise she is in an endless debt and then uh, the image of this old woman is juxtaposed with the image of a young bride who is playing a uh, music in the darkness so i hear the flute played in darkness a bride's music a bride which symbolizes a new hope rejuvenation a new uh, new dreams so uh, he, she hears this uh, the speaker says you know now i hear the sound the music the flute played in the darkness by a bride a poor folk thing so then again the comparison this bride is also compared to the nation the images you know these images overlap so a poor folk thing so again you know india is considered to be uh, i mean he is uh, uh, the westerners they call india as a land of uh, snake charmers and you know so uh, what happened is that so this india uh, like a woman uh, he says you know like a poor folk thing is there i watch her so this uh, old woman as well as this bride you know both are helpless at one point of time uh, at the hands of patriarchy colonialism colonial oppression they are helpless i watch her kneel in all my lifetime you know you know always she is imploring the household goods you know the goods uh, the th uh, three crore goods who will not let her in so in the in the colonial um uh, you know if you take that in that way it's actually the invaders the britishers who will not now let in uh, back give her back her country the wealth you know the freedom and also uh, when you take uh, this as um, a patriarchal uh, you know uh, like a feminist poem so uh, she's imploring uh, the so called patriarchal gods uh, to give her back the freedom the opportunity the dignity the right to live uh, right to equal opportunity education and you uh, know equal wages but he is she is denied though she is imploring those household gods gods uh, she is not she is denied uh, the old woman as well as the young bride uh, the nation is denied of such opportunities and such uh, uh, freedom so please uh, read the poem once again house of a thousand doors so take uh, take the picture have a picture of the traditional house with many doors and how uh, uh, windows and then with a uh, orange tiled uh, roof and then uh, imagine uh, take give the image you know the beautiful visual images of a grandmother and a bride uh, playing music you know so these are the three main images that we find uh, throughout the poem so when you uh, make a close analysis you can see that you know these images are you know they are all uh, somewhat um, close to a woman's heart the house um the grandmother the bride you know so uh, all these images are some way connected to a woman's identity so in a patriarchal setup the woman though she is trying to implore uh, the patriarchal gods uh, she is denied opportunity she is not given the opportunity uh, to live a dignified life to so that that is being that is uh, represented in this uh, poem this house is a thousand doors the sills are cut in bronze you know it's very uh, tight it's made of bronze so that nobody can break in but at the same time what happened the invaders succeeded in uh, in breaking in 3 feet high to keep out snakes toads water rats that shimmer in the vault reeds at twilight as the sun burns down to the kerala coast the roof is tiled in red pitched with a silver lightning rod a prow set out from the land's end bound nowhere in dreams waves lilt a silken fan in grandmother's hands shell colored utterly bare as the light takes her she kneels at each of the thousand doors in turn paying her dues her debt is endless i hear the flute played in darkness a bride's music a poor folk thing i watch her kneel in all my lifetime imploring the household gods who will not let her in you know uh, she is not uh, taken in taken back 
so please read the poem and uh, listen to the analysis also that is posted have a good day thank you